Arr, fellow pirates, you might be interested in playing the new Blizzard's World of Warcraft activity, Blunderstorm. But before you join the battles, it's very useful to know what all the spells do. Otherwise, you'll be running around like a clueless chicken. So let's walk the plank and see what we got. Of course, you have your basic hit and shoot ability. And you have a healing ability with a 30 second cooldown that heals you on a first tick for a lot of health and then gradually a bit more. It's a valuable tool for sustaining yourself during the battles. Now firstly, we'll look into offensive skills. Currently, on the first release, we have 10 offensive skills available to us. Keep in mind that this roster might evolve over time, so stay tuned for updates. Storm Archon deals damage in a straight line in a short period, you can recast this in total three times, with different elements appearing each time. While casting this, your movement speed is reduced slightly. And the cooldown for this spell is 20 seconds. If you line it up just perfectly, you can damage multiple enemies and from a far distance. Star Bomb is an area of effect spell where you are doing a long cast and at the end of the cast, the bomb explodes and pulls all affected targets to the center of the spell. It's a close range spell and is easily avoidable by other players. However, it deals a lot of damage if you manage to hit them with it. Cooldown is at 18 seconds. Toxic Smackerel is a poisonous close range cone attack. It deals initial damage and damage over time. The spell has a short cooldown of only 5.5 seconds, and if you hit your target again with it while it's poison, it deals extra sweet damage. Searing Axe is another close range cone ability that deals high damage in a cone in front of you. It's great for farming mobs, rounding them up and finishing off with a Searing Axe. It has 12 second cooldown and you are slowed down while casting it. Fire Whirl is a casting channeled area of effect spell where you set yourself in flames and become a blazing fire tornado, dealing damage and killing enemies left and right. While you're channeling it, you are always moving forward, so you'll have to turn if you want to stay in one place. Cooldown is 18 seconds, and currently, this is one of the most powerful spells in the game. Holy Shield spell hurls a spinning shield into the distance, damaging enemies in its path when going forward and when it's coming back to you. Additionally, while the shield is flying back and forth, at any point you can cast the ability again to trigger a holy explosion that deals extra AoE damage. The spell has 14 second cooldown. Slicing Winds is ability that lunges you forward in a straight line, damaging all enemies in your path. Now the distance of how far you lunge is dependent on how long do you hold the spell button. When you press the spell button, it starts channeling the spell. And on the bottom, a bar will appear to indicate how far would you lunge when you release the button. This ability has 12 second cooldown. Earthbreaker is a two second cast spell that stuns and damages enemies in a large AOE area around the caster. Your movement speed is reduced while you casting it, and it has an 18 second cooldown. The Mana Sphere is a projectile that requires charging. When you hold down the spell button, the sphere grows larger. Upon release, it shoots out in a straight line, damaging and knocking back all enemies. While a quick release can deal damage, it's most effective when fully charged. Keep in mind that Manosphere has a 14 second cooldown. Rhyme Arrow behaves like a seeking missile, but with an icy twist. To cast it instantly, you must be targeting your enemy. The spell boasts an impressive range, ensuring that you will always strike your intended target. With a 10 second cooldown, it's perfect for harassing your opponents from a distance. 
or strategically kiting them using other slow spells. Alternatively, you can use it to finish off an adversary you've been chasing after a prolonged battle. Next, we'll be looking at 10 utility skills. Some of them deal extra damage, and most of them help you escape or run after someone. Quaking Leap lunges you forward in a large arc, where at the end of it you crash down and stun your enemies. It doesn't leap too far, and while you are airborne, you can click the ability again to crash down earlier rather than doing the full leap. This spell has a 40 second cooldown. Explosive Kelt Traps is instant cast with 18 second cooldown that does a backwards leap while leaving explosive caltrops in the area where you were standing. When enemies walk on them and trigger them, they are damaged and their movement speed is slowed down. Lightning Bulwark is an ability that you channel for 2 seconds. Now if you know that you are about to be hit within 2 seconds, you can trigger this ability and it will negate next damage taken and grant you a large movement speed bonus, at the same time removing any harmful effects. It's a great escape tool, however, you must time it perfectly because you need to be hit within those 2 seconds, otherwise nothing really happens. Next we have Feyform. This also is a great escape or chasing skill as it instantly increases your movement speed, reduces damage taken and removes any harmful debuffs. The effect lasts only for 3 seconds but it would help you to increase or decrease a gap between you and your enemy. Fade to Shadow is a true rogue skill. It teleports you in the direction you are moving and at the same time enters you in a stealth, so your enemies won't see you for a short time. You will also leave combat if you are fighting any mobs. A great tool to escape or trick your enemies, as you can change your direction while stealth. Steel Traps lays down 5 large traps in front of you, that if your enemies step into, they'll get damaged and rooted in place. This ability works well with other offensive abilities and create couple of crazy combos where you trap your enemy in no man's land. 18 second cooldown. Repel creates a shield around you that repels all damage and harmful debuffs. And when triggered, the shield explodes, silences and knocks back your enemies. It has 22 second cooldown. Snowdrift is area of effect spell that does multiple hits around you. Each hit does damage and stacking slow effect on your enemies. It has 14 second cooldown. Windstorm is a tornado spell that you cast and quickly shoot in a straight line. Enemies hit with it are damaged and stunned. The spell has a very long range, so you can use it to chase down your enemies. It has a 14 second cooldown. And finally there is Hunter's Chains that you have to target to a specific target. It chains you to selected enemy and if cast again it will hurl you towards your enemy damaging them. Or if your enemy moves out of the chain's range, he gets pulled back to you. A good tool for those enemies that try to flee away quickly. Thank you for watching, and if you got this far, hopefully you learned something new about the plunder storm. Now you'll be better equipped to fight those skellywags. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to see more guides in the future. Toodaloo, fellow pirates!